Welcome to episode 12. Today we're going to look again at signaling and some vintage locos that Rovos Rail use. Today on Railway Signaling we're going to speak about the token system. A token is a physical object which the driver of a train is required to have before entering a particular section of single track. A token is clearly marked with the name of the section it belongs to. A token system is used for single track lines because of the greater risk of a collision in the event of irregular working by signalmen or train crews, as compared to double track lines. The operation of a bi-directional single track line has a few problems, the most serious of which is the possibility of two trains traversing the line traveling towards each other, each driver unaware that the other is using the line. The simplest method of controlling such a line is to have only one train operational on the basis that a single train cannot collide with itself and in the absence of another train there is nothing else for it to collide with. Such a system was known as one engine in steam. Such schemes were used and indeed still are used on some branches of rail networks and on various heritage railways. The main problem with such a scheme is that it is best suited to a completely isolated branch of single track line. Where the section has to be integrated into a larger railway system, it becomes exceptionally limiting in the level of operations that it allows, and the opportunity for a mistake to be made and an ensuing incident to occur is high. Instead, reliance is placed not on employing only one engine, but on having a single physical object available for the single track section, and ruling that only if an engine driver is in physical possession of that object may they enter the single line section. That object is known as a token, and is marked to indicate to which single track section it belongs. Tokens have existed in a variety of physical forms, namely the staff, tablet, ball or key. In the next episode we will look at a system used in South Africa called the Van Square Electromechanical Token System. Now for a look at some modern vintage traction on the Cape Main Line, as seen in the heart of the Northwest Province, between Fochville and Clarkstorp, with Rovos Rail. Between 1966 and 1969, the South African Railways placed 225 Class 5 V1 Series 5 electric locomotives with a Bobo wheel arrangement in mainline service. In their working life, with the South African Railways and later Spurnet, they mostly saw service on the 3 kV main lines countrywide, but a majority of the service was dedicated to the Natal main lines, hauling vacuum braked passenger and goods trains. By the mid 2000s, the last of the Series 5 locomotives were withdrawn from regular service, with the newer Class 61s and 18Es replacing them. However, in 2010, nine Class 5 one Series 5 locomotives were purchased by Rovos Rail and restored to working condition and given a splendid coat of royal green paint with pleasing yellow whiskers on the front. And today, in 2023, several of them now see regular service on the Verenigung to Kimberley Main Line, hauling the Cape Town Rovos Rail tours. And thus, these 60-year-old locomotives once again take to the rails. Thank you for watching another episode. We'd love to hear your comments, so leave one down below, and remember to like and subscribe. The platform's clear. The signal is at proceed. You, you may, may depart. depart.